Hi there. I'm Kelly Shotwell. I'm the director of the IT Academy at the Southern Virginia Higher Education Center. And I have a presentation I'd like to share with you about our upcoming Fall IT Fundamentals Plus class. So without further ado, let me get started. First thing I'd like to do is take you on a tour of the IT Academy. Here you see some pictures of the various classrooms that we have in our facility. We have a five row data center, which you can see live behind me here. Um, all of the equipment in this data center is for student training purposes. So this is what the students work on when they get to the uh, A plus server plus classes. We have two repair centers, both are fully stocked with tools, equipment and testers. These are for the hands-on labs when you get to A plus, when you're actually working with um, the hardware. Okay, the class I wanna talk about is IT Fundamentals Plus. This course is designed for people who are considering a career in, in information technology or IT. Um, the class introduces you to core IT concepts. And these concepts are so important in preparing individuals for the IT Academy CompTIA professional certifications pathway. This pathway begins with CompTIA A plus and Server plus, and then we also offer networking and security and Linux and other, and other courses. But the starting point is the IT Fundamentals Plus class. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about today. So this class is gonna begin the Monday after uh, Labor Day. So it's a 10 week class. It will meet September 13th through November the 11th. And I have the details here on the screen. And by the way, I will send you an email. Well, you're getting this in an email. I will send you uh, a copy of the presentation attached. It should be attached with your email. So uh, this class starts on September 13th, runs until November the 18th. It will meet Monday and Wednesday evenings from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. The re requirements to join the class are that you must be at least 18 years old and have your high school diploma or GED. We need you to be an experienced computer user. Um, you, you will need a working computer or laptop so not just a phone or a Chromebook. Um, you'll need this to do your assignments. And you need internet access available at a minimum of 1.5 megabits per second. I put a, a link here where you can run a speed test. And this is because of the homework assignments that you'll have. So you have options in how you decide to take the IT Fundamentals Plus course. You can either take the class uh, in person at the Southern Virginia Higher Education Center or you can take it online. This is a synchronous online class, which means you would need to attend or participate um, using Zoom during the uh, scheduled class times. So Monday, Wednesdays from 5.30 to 8.30, you would need to be on each Zoom call. And then the only time you would need to come in would be to pick up your books before uh, class or, and also uh, to take your certification exam which would be on the last day of class. So you, can, you will need to decide when you register um, so that you register either as an in-person student or as an online student. Speaking of online, I'd like to give you some tips for a positive online experience because we've had some students sign up for online classes and they just didn't have a good setup at home. Uh, main, usually the problems have to do with uh, shaky internet as we all know, um, it's fairly prevalent in our area. So before you choose to do the online option, I'd like for you to please do the following. If you've never done a Zoom meeting for home and you're not sure how it's going to go, um, set up a Zoom meeting with someone, uh, just get a buddy to, to work with you on this, and then have a conversation across Zoom, uh, maybe share a video or share a, a, a little presentation. But um, just test your equipment, test your internet connection, and test the sound and video quality. Because uh, if you can't see it or hear it, it's not going to be a good way for you to do a class online. I want you to think about the reliability of your internet connection, too. Does it go down a lot? If so, as an online student, that could set you up to miss a lot of classes. 
And even though we do record the classes uh, so that you can access them later, that's not the same as being on the live call where you can ask questions and, and, um, and that type of thing. Another thing we've learned um, with these online classes is that, is that dual monitors give you a great advantage. Um, this could be a display in addition to your laptop that you have connected to your laptop, or it could be if you're using a desktop model that you have two displays. And if you don't already have a second display, you could consider borrowing one, or if you don't wanna purchase one new, uh, a lot of secondhand stores um, have them as well, and you can pick one up inexpensively. So, um, but that dual monitor is really helpful with the labs that um, go along with this IT fundamentals class. Okay, so you can take this class on one of two ways. You can take the class um, as a non-credit as non-credit workforce training, um, in which case you would not be earning college credits. You'd be taking the class, learning the skills, earning the certification. Or if you're interested in pursuing a, a, a college degree, um, you can um, sign up for the class as a Southside Virginia Community College student. Uh, if you do that, then you earn college credits for the classes that you take this way through the IT Academy. So if you are already a Southside Virginia Community College student, um, see Kathy Witt here at our um, Community College office at the Higher Ed Center and she can help you get enrolled in the class. Or if you're not already a Southside student, but you are interested in doing the class for college credit, please visit our community college office at the Southern Virginia Higher Education Center and they can walk you through the process. Okay, so pricing and funding assistance. The price of the class for non-credit students is $700. Then this is an all-inclusive price. It includes your, your um, online study materials, your book, and your exam vouchers. And we do provide up to two exam vouchers. Um, so if you don't pass the certification exam the first time, you, you get a second opportunity without paying anything extra. Now for college students, so if you take that second option and enroll through Southside Virginia Community College, um, you would pay the standard tuition uh, plus the cost of the materials. There are funding assistance opportunities available regardless of which way you enroll. If you're non-credit or college student, um, there are opportunities to get assistance um, with paying for this class. Detailed information on how to go about getting that funding assistance will be shared when you call to enroll. Okay, I've got a couple deadlines for you. The deadline to enroll in the class is September 1st. And please don't delay until the last minute because these classes do fill up fast and we want you to, um, we want you to get a seat. So um, make your decision and go on and, and do what you need to do to get enrolled. For non-credit students, the deadline to apply for all of our non-credit scholarships is August the 13th. I'm, I'm providing that information now so that you can go ahead and get started on it. Um, we have one application by which you apply for all of the available scholarships and the link to that application is here. It's an online application. Okay, I'm at the end of the presentation. Um, if you have questions after hearing this presentation and you'd like to talk with me and get more information about the class, by all means, please give me a call. My number's here on the screen, 434-572-5660. If you have decided that you'd like to take the class or learn more about taking the class for college credit through Southside Virginia Community College, please contact Kathy Witt, there's her phone number, or Angela Cruz, and the, her phone number's on the screen as well. If you've decided you wanna enroll as a workforce training student, in other words, not to earn college credit, but just to take the class, take the certification exam, and hopefully get certified, um, then you'll need to contact me first to, to get your questions answered pertaining to the, the course, the content, whether you're a good fit for the course, if you have any questions of that type. And then when you've made your decision and you know you wanna enroll, you would contact Megan Owen at the number listed here on the screen, or you can email her, her email address is listed as well. So that's all I have for you. And I hope to see you in a class this fall. Thank you very much.